Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Stay tuned. I have a great pattern review for you today. Hi, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to review the Sherry dress. And this is a collaboration with my friend Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. And we both decided to make the sherry dress and top. Um, I, was, I had made the top and she loved the pattern, so we decided we would do a collaboration together. So the sherry dress comes in 5XL all the way down to extra, extra small from five out of four patterns. It's a PDF only pattern. It um, has several sleeve options. There's cap, dropped, and uh, three quarter length sleeves, oh, and long. So one day Karina and I were chatting online and I had just made the sherry top and she was interested in that pattern as well. So we decided to do a collaboration and make the dress. So I have uh, both the top and the dress to show you today, but first I'm gonna talk about all my categories and give you my review. First of all, on wearability. This is a very wearable uh, pattern, as most knit patterns are. It is made for stretch knits only and um, very much enjoy uh, wearing it. Very comfortable, very adaptable to whether you want to dress it up or down. Uh, I can see myself wearing this a lot. Ease of construction. Um, I would tell you that the, it was very easy. It looks like this detail would be difficult, but I tell you, it is not. It is the simplest um, little added detail you can find. It's wonderful. In fact, I may actually hack this into a few other patterns. But I really enjoyed making this, and um, I think it would be good for a confident beginner. Um, I don't think that there's anything in there that a beginner couldn't handle. I wouldn't do this as my first knit project, but other than that, I think it's very doable for a confident beginner. As far as fabrics go, you can choose any uh, stretch knit. Um, it is, works best with drapey knits just because of the detail. And I'll talk about that as well, a little more as I'm describing my experience. Um, I did have a little oopsie, so <laughs> we'll, I will show you that um, at the end and what I did about it. So when I was making this pattern, my first experience was to make the top, and I love the top. Um, I think I would love it a lot more if it fit me better. So I made um, a size large in the neck and extra large everywhere else in the top, and I really think that it ended up too tight. There's no question. Um, I would say definitely size up with this pattern. Um, I would size up and then I would maybe even size up again because it is really, really form fitting. If you like things tight, you'll be great. But if you have some bulges to hide, you might want to size up. So when I made the dress, then I actually made the um, extra large and went out to 2X on the waist and the hips. And I was a lot happier with it. Um, I just can't tell you it's just a different garment when you um, size it correctly and even by the finished measurements I by the finished measurements on the page I should have been all right so I would just be my recommendation to you to size up and you know even if then if you size up and you're still on the border size up again because it really really is form-fitting um, but lovely and I so the fabrics I chose, this dress is an ITY, and if you've ever tried to cut an ITY um, with the pattern piece being larger than the table, <laughs> um, you, I, you know it's really difficult because it's kind of that heavy, stretchy um, feeling to it. Even though it's lightweight, it's a, the stretch makes it heavy, so it pulls down. So what I ended up having to do is pin the pattern because as you know, and I hate doing that, I, I tell you all not to do that because a rotary cutter and weights is the way to go for sure. But the piece was larger than my table and it was, you know, trying to stretch all out of shape for me. And so I ended up with the second piece, I actually pinned it. The first piece I didn't. And I ended up with the cutting oops. And this is along the hemline. So when I put it on, I thought I was going to have plenty of length to cover it, and it turns out I did not. 
So I ended up having to take the um, some width out of the pattern. And so I basted it just to see what it would look like. And actually, I'm fine with it being a little bit less full at the bottom. Um, just live and learn. Just be real careful when you cut ITY uh, that it doesn't stretch and get weird on you. I don't even know how that happened. But everybody who's watching this, I'm sure, as long as you're someone who has sewn, you have had a cutting fail. And that was my cutting fail. But I think it turned out okay uh, anyway. Um, so ITYs, be careful and um, just make sure they don't stretch on you um, as you're cutting because that's what happened. Um, and then the second piece, which was the back, um, I pinned and I had no trouble at all. So, you know, I always say don't use pins, but maybe there's a time to use them <laughs> sparingly. All right, so then my first experience though was the top. And um, like I said, the top ended up being pretty tight, but I do love it. I love yellow. It's a, um, a sunny yellow uh, cotton lycra, very comfortable, very nice. Hopefully um, my puffiness from medication won't be around next summer and it will be not quite as tight as it is now. So when I was making the top, another thing I had to do was I didn't care for the cap sleeves. It, this cuts my arm at a really weird place. So I added bands to the sleeves and then I liked them a lot better. Um, I actually just uh, used, did the measurement of the uh, opening and did about 80% of that. And that is how wide I made the band. Super simple. Um, if you can do a neckline, you can do a band. So no problem there. Um, even this pattern, or even this dress, has the sleeves. I really need more room in these sleeves. So, I mean, the pattern, the sleeve pattern goes like this. So I would suggest if you have bigger arms, uh, don't make that angle quite so wide. Because, or <clears throat> don't make that angle quite so narrow, I mean. And then you would have more room down here if you're making the three-quarter sleeves like I did. So that is my tale of, of um, little fail, but I made it work. Um, I will be here tomorrow at three for a live session and I will see you all then. I hope you have a great happy sewing day. Happy sewing. Praise the squirrel.